Hey traders, this is Taylor with Top Pick Trading. I want to give you guys a Wednesday chart review before Thanksgiving. It's Wednesday, November 22nd. And here's our chart review. It was a pretty slow range day here. Had some uh, early uptrend action, a couple breaks, uh, new highs. Then we sold down. Then we just pretty much went sideways till the end of the day. So let's get started on the review. Should be pretty quick with the few number of bars we had today. So we had this uptrend through the overnight. There was a couple ways to draw it. Uh, on this primary chart, it looked pretty clean right here. We get a first entry, second entry long with a perfect bar um, right at the EMA. You may have had a little downtrend here, but it looks like maybe an overshoot. Uh, regardless, even if you don't have a downtrend in play, or even if you do have a downtrend in play here, um, with these two clear legs and that EMA holding pretty much to the old overnight, expecting a retest of this high, I think this is a good trade here. It does take a second. Uh, comes back and gives a higher low. A little bit congested now. The bar's not great. This one, um, it's nice confirmation uh, of that EMA holding, but um, there's some congestion. But either way, I think both of these are really good trades. Um, you would have gotten a huge runner out of this if, if you weren't already out by the time it retraced here. So, um, yeah, I like both of those trades. You get a break new high from even the retest leg here. Then it begins to sell off. You get a failure here, but it kind of moved far to consider that a failure in my opinion uh, if we got a second entry here to the short side maybe you consider that but uh, i think this is this one's a little bit aggressive so ends up selling off pretty hard uh, we get a second entry here unfortunately no bar that could have been a good trade if we got a good bar there sells off turns sideways um, breaks out of the large blue downtrend and we get a second entry short here this was a pretty good bar unfortunately there's a lot of congestion right above that ema too um, you know if you took this this is not the worst trade, but it's a little bit, um, a little bit aggressive with that congestion there and where it formed. Um, Would have worked. Bounces up the lows. Fortunately, just a double test, not a triple test. Uh, you get this move up, just a first entry, break new high. You get a <coughs> um, equal high here, so this is. Uh, you can reset the count here, and then we get a first entry long, second entry long. I think this bar, you know, depending on how you look at failures, um, sometimes you can ignore the bar. I think this is a a little bit more aggressive trade, but you'll see on the uh, second chart you got a really nice bar here. So I think this one's worth considering as a short. Fortunately, we bounced, you know, a little micro triple bottom here, but still that's probably going to trap shorts or sorry, trap longs, and it does. Uh, sells off pretty hard. Looks like you get an overshoot from this downtrend, pushes up, chops sideways, forms this little uptrend here, gets a break, second entry long, but really congested here, and then you got that downtrend in play. Uh, EMA is not really holding right in here too. It's just kind of chopping sideways. Uh, ends up folding over into this bigger trend here. Fortunately, just a first entry long. Get a technically a second entry long, but really sideways. Bar's not great. Um, if this, if you got the first entry long here, and then we sold off, and we got a nice bar like this one, closer to the EMA with a nice lower wick, uh, maybe you could consider this, but just didn't form in the right spot. Ends up pushing higher. You get a break, and it does not retest. And you'll see that a lot on these wider trends when it's rangy. They just don't get the retest. Um, it does turn right at this general resistance area. At the time, it looked a little lower, like right in here. Um, either way, it ends up being higher. <coughs> either way, no setup. Uh, just really congested there. Drops lower. Um, turns right at the key entry point, but just a first entry short. And then you get the second entry short, but your uptrend's in play. And we're still kind of worried this may retest. Um, this wider downtrend may not end up being valid. Either way, you may expect a retest from this tighter trend here. Doesn't happen, we don't get a setup in a, in a good location. Chops higher, you, you get a fail second entry short here, but like I mentioned, you're kind of worried about this uh, getting a retest, so. Uh, I don't think you want to take that long. Which is higher, chop sideways. Uh, this, this trade right here is a little bit tempting. Um, if you're a little bit more aggressive, maybe you consider this short. I'll mark it just a bit too aggressive because it didn't make a new high uh, than the previous bar here, and you don't have a lot of room to the EMA. So if you're scalping for very small amounts, maybe. But uh, it was it was a little bit too aggressive for me in real time. Uh, I'm going to mark it orange, which means a bit too aggressive. Uh, chop sideways, sells off really strongly here, and you get a first entry, second entry short, bad bar, and far from the EMA. And we're bouncing notice at this major support level now. Um, pushes higher. 
ends up forming this nice little uptrend here. We get a second entry long here, but it's just far from the EMA. Uh, on a range day, you, you got to really be uh, sure of these key entry points and uh, sure that the EMA is holding. This is just a bit too far for me. So, uh, depending on your scalp, it may have worked, but um, either way, it comes back, bounces again, and then we get a triple test here. If we got a good bar here on the lower side, I think this would be a pretty good trade, but bar's no good. So, push us higher into 330. Let's take a look at the second chart. Obviously, similar price action. Um, it looks like this may have gotten an earlier break, but if you're watching another chart, the EMA is still holding, so probably still trust this area. Unfortunately, the second entry long was no good, but the higher low is really, really nice on this on this chart, so that's a, a definite take. You actually get a failure on this chart. This forms a little bit high, close to that overall high. So Probably a bit too aggressive. Push up, and then we get that same failure, but just kind of move far, so you want to avoid that probably. Um, pushes down. Second entry is a little bit better, but still not a great bar. Um, so, got a good bar here, then definitely take. But not great on this chart. Stop sideways. We get a second entry short here, but same story as before. It's really congested. Bar's not even as good on this one. Pushes higher. Break. Couple legs up. The. Uh, um, this looks like it got a break a little bit earlier than the other chart, I believe. But either way, just get two legs up. And on this chart, you get this count reset, and you get a first entry long. You actually technically get a second entry long here that fails, but the bar is not great, and we're just kind of chopping on that EMA. You really want to push below and come back and test it a little bit more definitively. So technically on here, this is a lower high, but it looks like two legs. This is just a little break above, so um, I really like this trade. It moved really fast, so you probably didn't get in it. Um, overshoots. Stops higher. You get a third entry, kind of like a triple test. If this bar was better, maybe with that three clear test of, uh, test of this overall midline support area, but the bar is just not great on this one. Uh, pushes higher, first entry. Pushes to the high, get a breakout. Uh, comes back into the range, drops lower. Pushes to this low, and you get that second entry short here, but Bar's not great. And you actually get a really nice bar for a failure, but you got to close outside already from this uh, micro uptrend here, and you're also still worried about this downtrend. So, contextually, contextually not the best trade, but really nice local PA. But uh, I think you want to avoid it. Pushes higher, folds over into this range. Don't really get a setup on this chart. Closes higher here. Sideways, second entry short and fail second entry long, but right in the middle of this small range. EMA is not really. Uh, acting as support or resistance, so, and you're closing near this support, so I, want, uh, I would want to avoid that. Which is lower. You get the second entry short here, uh, which is, you know, on the other chart it formed right here because you didn't get this break below, but it's just far from the EMA. And at the time, this ends up traveling, but it looks like that's in play. So, uh, would have failed. Comes back, pushes up above the EMA, close outside, and then the same story here. You get, uh, well, first let me talk about this. You get the second entry long here, but the bar's not as good, and it's still far from the MA. Then you get the close outside and the triple test, but no bar on this chart either. Got a good bar here that finished pretty low. Probably could consider that. Uh, just didn't form on this chart. So, pushes higher, stop sideways, and then that's 3.30 hour. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully we'll get some more volume over the next um, week, especially next week coming out of Thanksgiving. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And have a great Thanksgiving. Bye.